it's fall. And in our house, that means one thing. Well, besides football, of course. It means a new NBA season is about to start. The new season officially opens on October 18th. And while we've covered the top three ways to watch NBA games without cable in the past, we wanted to provide updates on streaming NBA games. In this video, we'll cover three important updates about watching NBA games in 2022. We'll start with NBA League Pass and Team Pass, which offer a way to stream out-of-market games. Then we'll talk about the new NBA app and Bally Sports Plus. We'll wrap up with a brief update on the best live TV streaming services that let you watch basketball without cable in 2022. Now let's get started with a positive change to NBA League and Team Pass. They're now cheaper. The lower price makes this a more appealing way to stream NBA games when you don't live in your team's home market. Pricing is down 60% to $99.99 per season at time of filming or $14.99 per month for the base tier or $129.99 per season and $19.99 per month for the premium tier at time of filming. If you only want to watch one team, you can choose NBA Team Pass for $89.99 per season, again at time of filming. All plans also include a seven-day free trial. Beyond live games, all plans now include access to NBA TV, classic games from the NBA's archives, more camera angles during games, and guest broadcasters on select games. After games air, you'll be able to watch full-length or condensed replays, and for games that are blacked out in certain regions, you can watch those games on demand three days after the live broadcast. Nationally broadcast games will be available three hours after the live broadcast. And that brings up an important point that hasn't changed with the price update. Regardless of whether you want league or team pass, you want to keep two things in mind. Blackout restrictions apply so you won't be able to watch your local team's games and nationally televised games are also blacked out. Now let's move on to the new NBA app. Last month, the NBA announced the launch of its newly redesigned app, calling it the all-in-one destination for NBA fans of every team. It now includes a lot of personalization options, social style vertical videos, and behind the scenes access to players and teams. It will also showcase content from new and existing NBA shows and series and access to the NBA Vault for free. It's a joint venture with Turner Sports and is free to download. And because it's free, you won't be able to watch live games on it. Instead, you'll get highlights, breaking news alerts, and the latest scores. If you buy a league or a team pass, you can watch the games you're entitled to within the app. And the NBA says there will be less latency in the app this season, meaning games watched on it will be closer to the live feed shown on cable networks. Overall, the app is a nice free option for serious fans who want to stay up to date with all that's going on in the league. Now let's move on to our third update, Bally Sports Plus. Viewers have been asking us if the new streaming app is a legit way to watch NBA games in the 2022 to 2023 season. We're currently testing the app and we'll share our review of it soon. In the meantime, the answer is yes, for now. As the New York Post reported recently, rumors are circulating that the MLB, NBA, and NHL may buy out Diamond Sports' ownership of the Bally Sports channels. Diamond Sports, which is owned by Sinclair Broadcast Group, has been bleeding cash and could be looking at bankruptcy. That's not something the aforementioned leagues want to see happen at all. Yeah, because in that scenario, whoever bought Diamond Sports could decide to reject existing broadcast rights contracts with major sports leagues, which would mean lost money to them. And it's worth noting that it's not the only trouble Bally Sports is currently experiencing. In Ohio, Sinclair is locked in carriage agreements with YouTube TV, Hulu Live, and others, which means Bally Sports Ohio isn't available on them. For now, if you want to watch Cavaliers games on the channel, you'll have to sign up for Bally Sports Plus. And as Cleveland.com reports, the Cleveland Cavaliers have agreed to pay for the cost of a subscription for all Cavs United members with full or half season ticket plans. It's all a messy situation and one that leaves questions in the air about the streaming app and its future. But for now, if you live in a region where Bally broadcasts your team's games, you can use the app to watch one of the 16 NBA teams that Bally was able to gain rights to. Bally Sports Plus costs $19.99 a month or $189.99 a year at time of filming, unless you live in a region that can include two or three different channels. For example, if you live in Tampa Bay, you can either subscribe to Bally Sports Florida or Bally Sports Sun for $19.99 a month, or you can subscribe to both for $29.99 a month. 
When Bally Sports launched its streaming service, one of the immediate problems viewers recognized was that customers in some parts of the country were not able to access all of the sports content in the app that they could through a cable subscription. As we discussed in our state of streaming video at the time, that reality meant they'd need multiple packages. The app corrected that with new bundling options. If you live in a region where Bally broadcasts your team's games, this could be a cost-effective way to stream your local, regular season NBA games without cable. You cannot get out-of-market NBA games through Bally Sports Plus. You also cannot sign up for a Bally channel outside of your region. And unlike NBA League or Team Pass, you're not signing up for an NBA team. You're subscribing to a Bally Sports channel for your local city. It really is designed for people who want to watch their local games without a traditional TV subscription. Any game that airs on your local Bally Sports channel will air on Bally Sports Plus. If you want to watch playoffs and finals or games that air on other channels like ESPN or TBS, you'll need a live TV streaming service, which leads us to our final note. If you're looking for a full review of the best live services for NBA games, you can watch our video on the best ways to watch NBA games without cable from last year. For the 2022-23 NBA season, you have four main options, Sling, Hulu Live, YouTube TV, and DirecTV Stream. NBA games air mainly on four channels, ABC, ESPN, TNT, and NBA TV. The NBA playoffs begin on April 15th and will air on all those channels as well as NBA TV. This season, the Eastern Conference Finals will be on TNT, while the Western Conference Finals will air on ABC. The NBA Finals will begin June 1st on ABC. If you want to catch all or nearly all the games, you'll need one of the live streaming services we mentioned. Sling Orange plus the Sports Extra add-on for $46 per month at time of filming is the best budget option. If you pair that with an antenna for ABC, since Sling doesn't carry locals, you can get all the channels you need. Hulu Live costs $70 per month at time of filming and will get you everything except NBA TV. However, the price of Hulu Live plans are changing on December 8th. Then new subscribers will pay either $70 for a basic subscription with ads or $83 per month for a premium plan without ads. YouTube TV costs $65 per month at time of filming and includes every channel you'd need in its base package. And Direct TV Stream includes everything, including your local Bally Regional Sports Network and its choice package. That will cost you, though. It runs $90 per month at time of filming. If you're okay missing some games, one of the more cost-effective solutions mentioned earlier remains your best choice for the new NBA season. At the end of the day, it's all about identifying your favorite sports and shows and finding the best way to watch them. And that's what we're all about on this channel. Let us know how you stream NBA games in the comments below. Have you tried the new Bally Sports Plus app? What do you think of NBA League Pass or the new NBA app? And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can get our latest news and reviews when they drop. And if you know someone looking for ways to watch sports without cable, tell them about our channel. Or, better yet, share this video with them. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.